I have an issue when we say, you know, art is over here and then popular culture is over here. Mm. And, you know, when Marriage of Figaro, mm. Figaro premiered, you know, when Mozart did it, it was like the popular event of its time. And the arias were so amazing that the audience made them, you know, made the singers perform them eight times in a row. And Joseph II the next day was so irate by this, he banned that. But, you know, it was, it was like, you know, on demand. People would 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 scream out loud and make a scene. And it was politically live. And it was politically in, in live. And so it was, so it was you know people waiting outside the theater all day long and pushing to get in. And you know that's what I hope. You know I I, I hope that we can look at a at a moment where theater, whether it's opera or musicals, is is you know challenging and not pandering and yeah. also popular. Well, that, I think you. I mean, to me, it's great theater, you know, great theater that has music. And we all aspire to the most powerful evocation of great theater. And in so many ways, it's just looking at what are the conditions and the way in which you approach the event that allow you to have that amazing yeah. um, kind of cathartic Great theater moment. is great theater is great theater. It's great, great theater. theater, whether it's opera or musicals. And <clears throat> anyway, it's an interest in what is the int original intention, not only of the author, but yeah. how was the piece perform that always interests me what was the performance context you know when when these Monteverdi operas were done were they done or, or when you start looking at magic flute which I'm prepping now how that was done it was different that Mozart opera in terms of the kind of public sensibility you know you so you try to learn as much as you can about the original intentions and you know it's delightful to think about Mozart writing these roles for living artists it wasn't a classical thing, you know. We tend to think classical. It's popular. He was. Pop it was popular. He was taking who are the greatest stars with the most dazzling voices, and I'm going to go write for them. Um, and and funny guys too. He was writing for his absolutely, absolutely. Know, so. so it was very practical that way. It was. It was performance. So the, the kind of fearlessness and the kind of. Um, you know, m there's nothing better than an opening night in opera, I think, you know, because first of all, you haven't previewed for three weeks. <laughs> it's like, you know, you've had one dress stakes rehearsal, are way too the high. stakes are high, <laughs> and you know, you sit in the audience, you know, from a director's point of view, and you think, here it comes. They're gonna hit that high C, like, a, you know, they're gonna jump the long jump, and it's, hap it's gonna happen tonight. And you know, there's that athletic um, kind of event of it that I just think. So I think that trickles back to sometimes the attitude of opera singers when they work. And I, I, I mean, for me, what's happened when you think about Broadway, it's just, I mean, I'm hoping when I take care of Broadway this spring, we will defy this. <laughs> but when you, when you tend to think about Broadway right now and, you know, this economy, or well, even, not even this economy, but the economic reality of doing a show, it's, it's a very thin, band of commercial activity where you, the, the, the gold standard is can you run, how many years can you run? I think the shows where yeah. they were incredibly rich theatrical experiences with actors who were these amazing talents mm -hmm. and in cutting edge new work, musical plays, whatever. It wasn't about, you know, the race to be, you know, the next Mamma Mia. It just wasn't, you know, yeah. that's what we all look at. We all get sucked into it. That's what you want. That's when you'll really succeed on Broadway. Not if you've done a beautiful, heart-rending show with incredible performance. You know, yeah. that might close in six months. And even yeah. though it was great, it's not going to be looked at as successful unless it's running for five years. Plus. So that's a huge reason so why I, we I, get I, off of core values and get I back do, to and it. and it's tourists. It's a tourist trade. It's you know, it's like. I mean, I don't mean to bash Broadway because I love it and I'm going to go join that community imminently, but I do feel it's... Be very kind to Broadway, <laughs> <Exactly>. Madam. <laughs> you know, it's like a dream come true. That's the other reality. You know, you're a director and you sort no, of dream. I mean, I...